Hello, in this video we will be going over how to solve radical equations. So what is a radical equation? Well, a radical equation is any equation that has a radical expression somewhere in it. That is to say, it has a root in it. So, for example, we can take square root of x equals 1. And we use the power principle to solve these. And the power principle simply states that if p and q are algebraic expressions and n is a positive integer, then every solution of p equals q is a solution of p to the n equals q to the n. And to demystify that a bit, that just means that if you have something equal to something, and you bring them both to the same power, they're still equivalent. So if we square both sides of this, we'll get the square of the square root of x, so they cancel each other out, and we get x and 1 squared, which is 1. Easy, because it's 1 times 1. So let's bring in something with a little bit of complexity. Let's say we have 2 root 3x minus 2 equals x plus 1. So the first thing that we're going to do is square everything, just like we did last time. Because we could divide 2, we could divide both sides by 2, but then if we squared it, we'd have a fraction mess, and that's just a mess. But if we square both sides, we get 2 times square root 3x minus 2 times 2 square root 3x minus 2, which means we get 2 times 2 is 4, and square of the square root of 3x minus 2 is 3x minus 2, equals x plus 1 squared is, uh, foil this real quick, x squared plus 1x plus 1x is 2x plus 1. And then we can solve from there. So we can expand this real quick. 4 times 3 is 12x, or sorry, distribute this. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. And let's get everything on one side so we have a second degree polynomial set equal to 0. So we subtract 12x, we get negative 10x, and we add 8, we get plus 9. So 0 equals x squared minus 10x plus 9. And from here, we can factor something that we already know how to do. So we've taken something that we don't know how to solve, applied the power principle, or just understood that we can square both sides in order to get rid of a square root, and solved from there to get it into something that we do know how to solve. So if we were to factor, factor this, what adds up to negative 10 and multiplies out to 9, well, that would be a negative 1 and a negative 9. So 0 equals x minus 1, x minus 9. And we can solve both of these because the zero product principle means that either of these can equal 0. x minus 1 equals 0, x minus 9 equals 0, x equals 1, and x equals 9. So there you have it. We took it from a form that we didn't know, put it into a form that we did know using a trick, factored it because that's something that we can do given the form that we do know, and then solved. So let's prove it. Let's start with our initial equation and plug in our values for x. So for one of them, we have 2 square root of 3 times 1 minus 2 equals x plus, well, 1 plus 1. Square root of 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 equals 1 plus 1. We know that to be true. Sorry, my marker's dying there. Um, so if we plug in 9, do, does that work as well? 2 square root of 3 times 9 minus 2 equals 9 plus 1. 
3 times 9 is 27 minus 2. 27 minus 2 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5 times 2 equals 9 plus 1. 2 times 5 is 10. 9 plus 1 is 10. So we've taken it from a form that we didn't know, put it into a form that we did know, solved, and proved it. That's how you solve radical equations. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.